मेरा क्वेश्चन है कि हम लोग आपको इंडियन आइडल्स के टीम से ही आपको देख रहे हैं कि आप एक अच्छा स्ट्राइकर हो सकते हैं फ्यूचर में तो मुंबई सिटी ज्वाइन करके आपको कैसे लग रहा है और आपका एक्सपीरियंस अभी तक कैसा है मुंबई सिटी ज्वाइन करके मुझे लग रहा है मैंने एक सही डिसीजन लिया क्योंकि मेन होता है अपने आप को इम्प्रूव करना मतलब जैसा मेरा प्ले स्टाइल है उस स्टाइल में मैं सही आ गया क्योंकि लास्ट ईयर लुबेरा भी सेम था जो मतलब बॉल बॉल पोजीशन रख के अटैकिंग खेलना और दिस इस सीजन भी सेम ही है मतलब अटैकिंग ज्यादा खेलना तो मुझे लग रहा है मैंने एक सही डिसीजन लिया जस्ट फॉलो क्वेश्चन की और एक क्वेश्चन है तो आपका जो फिनिश है फिनिशिंग कुछ इम्प्रूवमेंट हो रहा है तो अगले आपको थॉट्स क्या है इम्प्रूवमेंट और क्या क्या चीज आप करना चाहते हैं आपके गेम में फिनिशिंग का ही मैं चाहूंगा मैं थोड़ा और वर्क करना चाहूंगा अपनी फिनिशिंग पे थोड़ा और इम्प्रूव करना चाहूंगा और मुझे लग रहा है पहले से तो बहुत इम्प्रूव हुआ ओके ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू बेस्ट ऑफ विशेष फॉर द नेक्स्ट मैच थैंक यू थैंक्स अपूर्वा संदीप या हाय विक्रम मेरा सवाल है कि आप अभी थोड़ा वाइड खेल रहे हो तो कोच से क्या क्या उन उन उनसे लाइक उन्होंने क्या क्या बात किया था आपसे कि क्या करना है कि कैसे करना है और इसके साथ आपका फिनिशिंग के बारे में भी अंगुलों के साथ ट्रेन करके वो फॉरनर स्ट्राइकर्स के साथ ट्रेन करके कितना उन्होंने वो भी कुछ बात करते हैं आपसे हाँ वो ट्रेनिंग में तो उनको देख के और जब फिनिशिंग होता है तो वो बहुत सिखाते हैं मतलब कैसे करना है और मेरे पोजीशन की बात करें मुझे लग रहा है मैं अपनी सही पोजीशन पे अभी खेल रहा हूँ राइट विंग पे और मुझे वो सबसे अच्छी लगती है तो जैसे प्ले स्टाइल है मुझे लग रहा है इस पोजीशन में आई एम फिट तो आप स्ट्राइकर से भी कंफर्टेबल वाइड खेलने में ऐसा लगता है आपको स्ट्राइकर भी ठीक है बट मैं जब इंडियन एरो में भी था मतलब मोस्टली राइट विंग ही खेलता था बट कभी कभी खेलता था स्ट्राइकर थैंक्स संदीप हर्ष ये सब गुड आफ्टरनून विक्रम मेरा सवाल आपसे है कि uh, ये सीजन हमने देखा है कि आप और रेनियर दोनों राइट right विंग पे कुछ मैच आप स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं कुछ मैच रेनियर स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं तो ये कंपटीशन आप दोनों के बीच में आपको कैसे मोटिवेट कर रहा है और, और कैसे आप दोनों को इम्प्रूव करने के लिए मोटिवेट uh, कर रहे हैं ये कॉम्पिटिशन तो होना जरूरी है अगर कॉम्पिटिशन होगा तो इम्प्रूवमेंट भी ज़्यादा होगी और रेनियर अगर देखा जाए तो सीनियर प्लेयर है मतलब बहुत अच्छे खेलते हैं जब भी खेलता है वो बट उसको देख के मुझे मोटिवेशन मिलता है वो खेलेगा तो मैं भी खेलूंगा तो मुझे लग रहा है ये कंपटीशन होना चाहिए थैंक यू थैंक्स हर्ष रिद्धिमान गुड आफ्टरनून विक्रम आपका फॉर्म कब काफी अच्छा रहा है इस सीजन और आपको क्या लगता है कि नेक्स्ट मैच में आप कैसे कंट्रीब्यूट कर सकते हैं आपकी टीम पे और Uh, मतलब आप गोल्स असिस्ट में कैसे कंट्रीब्यूट कर सकते हैं क्या लगता है नेक्स्ट मैच में होपफुली मतलब जितना ही मुझे टाइम मिलेगा मैं अपनी तरफ से पूरी कोशिश करूंगा गोल करने का और नहीं तो करवाने का और बस ये ठीक थैंक यू हर शेष वन सेकेंड बिफोर वी कम बैक टू यू एनी अदर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एनी वन एल्स इन दैट Yeah, Harsh, go ahead. Yeah, uh, तो विक्रम लास्ट सीजन आपने ज्यादा मैचेस नहीं खेले थे जब लोबेरा कोच थे और ये सीजन आपने ऑलमोस्ट हर मैच में आपका अपीरियंस रहा है तो क्या आपको लगता है ये आपका पर्सनल इम्प्रूवमेंट के वजह से है या फिर कोच uh, बकिंगम को आप में uh, ज्यादा ट्रस्ट है उसके वजह से आप ये सीजन ज्यादा मैच खेल मुझे लग रहा है इस साल कोच को यंग प्लेयर पे थोड़ा ज्यादा मतलब ज्यादा वो दिखा रहे हैं कॉन्फिडेंस क्योंकि लास्ट ईयर मुझे लग रहा है एक तो मैं था भी न्यू और मुझे इतना एक्सपीरियंस भी नहीं था और लास्ट ईयर से इस ईयर तक मुझे लग रहा है मैं बहुत इम्प्रूव हुआ हूँ अपने मतलब जो प्लेइंग स्टाइल में हम खेलते हैं तो आई थिंक पिछले सीजन से मैंने बहुत सीखा तो इस सीजन उसको यूज करके अभी और गेम टाइम मिल रहा है अपूर्वा यस विक्रम आपका कोई पर्सनल गोल या एम डिसीजन है इस सीजन पर्सनल गोल तो है मिनिमम दस गोल तक तो मारूंगा ओके ओके बेस्ट विशेष थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू गाइस इफ देयर एनी अदर एनी अदर क्वेश्चंस फॉर विक्रम अदरवाइज यू कैन मूव ऑन टू द हेड कोच ओके थैंक यू विक्रम थैंक यू विल बी बैक इन जस्ट अ फ्यू सेकंड्स गाइस
I guess same drill as always. Memes in the chat box, please. Apurva. Good afternoon, coach. Afternoon. Yes, uh, my question is that uh, what are your thoughts on the level of the players? Where are they in terms of where you want them to be? Yeah, I've said, I've said in the last couple of pretty much press conferences, I'm very happy with where the players are based upon the time we've had available to us with them. You know, I think we were the last team to start pre-season and actually assemble our squad together. And even during pre-season, we, we had a lot of players join us throughout that period of time. So we haven't had as much time as others. But in terms of uh, where are we at, I'm, I'm happy with the work that we've done and how the players have adapted in the short space of time we've actually had with them. Thanks, Just a follow-up question, Coach. Uh, what are your ass assessment on the season so far? My assessment is that it's, it's been a, a good start, uh, but that's all it is. You know, we're only six games into a 20-game season, um, so it's very much important. It's very important to us that we get better every game and we continue. We spoke about taking on this playing style from last year. I, I think we've, we've shown enough signs now that we've started to do that. And we need to make sure that in every game, you know, we're going to come up against different challenges that we can also now start adding to that to make sure that the different challenges we do come up against, that we've got different answers and different ways of winning games. Thank you, Coach. Best wishes for the next match. Thank you. Thanks, Aburba. Radhiman? Yeah, good afternoon, Coach. Uh, so, your team has demonstrated the ability to go up against various teams and come out with a win uh, with the help of a variety of tactics. Like you said, you enjoyed those different types of challenges. So is this something that you stress on a lot in training, like this mentality or practice to change your approach uh, based on the team you're facing? Yeah, I mean, we, we have a, a very clear framework about how we want to play. And that's something that we've really tried working and involving the players in, in the last 12 to 14 weeks or however long it's been since I stepped off the plane. Um, but when we face opposition in different teams, we want to stick very true to our playing style. There will always be slight tweaks and changes um, in terms of how we want to approach each game and, and some of the challenges that we may face to make sure that we can get on top of those moments. But the overall sort of 80%, 20%, the 80% is making sure we stick true to our playing style. Whilst also the 20%, the there will be slight differences in games that we feel we need to, to adapt to, to try and get the success that we would like. Thank you, Coach. Just another follow-up question. Uh, do you think your team's uh, adeptness from set pieces will be handy once again in the next match? I think they play a major part, not just in this league, not just in our team. I think if you look across the league itself, there's, there's a lot of goals that are scored from set plays and across the world. Um, for any league across the world, set plays generally account for anything between 50, uh, sorry, 30 and 50 percent, and that includes World Cups. So they're a huge part of any game. Um, so, yes, they're an important part of our game because they give us a different way of, of scoring, which was important to us in the last game. But again, they're only one part to, to what we want to do. But we, we do pay attention to them, but no more attention than we do for our in-possession and out-possession game. Thank you, Coach. All the best for your next match. Thank you. Thanks, Adhiman. Harsh? Yeah, uh, good afternoon, Coach. Uh, yesterday, uh, Kerala Blasters revealed that uh, the centre-back Sipovic will be missing the game on Sunday. And uh, even Harmanjot Khabra might be uh, not available for the match. Do you think that comes as an added advantage for Mumbai uh, on Sunday? Uh, no, not really, because I think you know, they've got good players that can come in, especially with the foreign players, and that's something we're wary of and aware of and ready for. So, Again, we've got no control over um, what team they'll put out or how they'll play against us. So we'll still continue to approach the game in the same way that we were doing and we'll do again when we train today, just to make sure that we're ready for what we want to do in possession and make sure that we're set up for anything that they may pose um, against us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Ash. Uh, Ashwati. Uh, good afternoon, Coach. Uh, I'm Ashwati from Halfway Football. So I just wanted to ask you, like, what is your observations about uh, tomorrow's opponents? Yeah, they're a very good team. Um, they, they press high. Uh, I actually had the pleasure of working with one of their players, Adrian Luna. And Adrian has had a fantastic start to the season and is very influential in some of their play. So I very much look forward to connecting with, with Adrian uh, Luna tomorrow and hoping that he doesn't play as well as, as he has done in the previous games. Um, but again, it's the same as, as any other team, you know. <laughs> We'll, we'll prepare as well as we can for what we think we'll face. Because if we don't, any team in this league is, is capable of beating any team. So we need to make sure that we approach this game in the same way, and we will, as we have the previous six. 
thank you coach all the best for the match thank you thanks asadi uh, guys if there's any further questions uh, yeah harsh yeah uh, coach uh, i wanted to uh, ask you about ahmed jahu uh, he he's a central defensive midfielder but uh, he has the most number of assists uh, this season uh, with five to his name uh, how do you see jahu as a player and uh, how important uh, is he to the team yeah jahu um is obviously a player that performed very well for this team and was a you know a lot of play went through jahu last year as well in terms of the style so what we wanted to do this year is just evolve and and take that on a step further um and we've done that you know we've paired him with rolling borges uh, we've paired him with abuya in, in the, the right the recent six games and um, we're just trying to evolve his style and and see if he can become more influential in different areas of the field you know we know he's got the capability from set plays we know his range of passes is extremely good when he drops into the back line but we're just trying to play with his position to try and get him in more advanced areas so he can have more impact higher up the field as well as the other sides of his game so Yes, he's influential, um, but he's influential because of the way he plays within the system, and he's influential because of the players around him um, being in the positions that we need him to be. Uh, Coach, just a follow-up question: uh, Do you think Jahu's role in the team is um, more attacking than defensive? I would like to think so. Yeah, the way we want our sixes to play, um, you know, <laughs> we have two sixes, um, but both of them can play further forwards and have got an excellent range of pass passes, and both want to contribute towards goal scoring moments. So. Um, it's very important that when we get the ball, whether it's Apuya, it's Rolin, it's Tundumba, who again is another player that's yet to feature, or it's Jahu, um, that we do want them uh, attack-minded rather than defence-minded. You know, the defensive side of the game is a six they should have, um, but we want players on the ball to be positive and play forwards, and those two positions especially are important to us. Thanks, coach. All the best for the next game. Thank you. Thanks, Ash uh, Abulba. Yes, coach. Uh, I just want to ask you about Casio and. Also, Qatar too. The influence of them. What do you think they have done for the team so far? Yeah, firstly, they're they're two you know excellent people. Um, they arrived. They were the last ones into our bubble. I mean, they only started actually training the week before the season started. So match fitness and sharpness was something that they didn't have, and we're still working with them on. You know, Casio starting to show the capability and the quality that he has over. 90 minutes now now we can get him up to speed um so he's been excellent in the group um and so as you know you've seen the impact that Catatel has you know and he's capable of starting games at the moment he's playing a role from the bench because um players that are starting the game are, are playing well and his obviously replacement is is Igor and Igor scoring and playing extremely well for the group so they've they fitted in extremely well despite the fact they arrived late um and they also offer us um something different that should the game need it we have the opportunities why to start them or bring them on to affect the game in a positive way what any injury concerns out of the game no not from the last game we've pulled up very very well and the players are fresh and ready to go again thanks abuba sandeep hi coach um... just wanted to ask you about apuya you mentioned him earlier uh he's been having a very good season doing very well so is there anything that you're working with him that you think uh, he can improve on any specific part of his game yeah he's um he's come in you know he continued he's continued from where he left off last season you know it's one of the reasons we brought him to the club and was to surround him with the, the likes of jahul um, and see how far we can now develop him and progress him as a player but it's there's still a lot of areas we we are working with him on I won't share them with you on this call he's got his own development plan and he's aware of those areas but he has a, a wonderful skill set um he's very open and receptive to learning and I'm convinced you know the more game time he gets the more experience he has on the field that we'll see him get stronger and stronger as the season progresses thank you coach all the best thank you coach you got a question from Ibrahim who couldn't be here What's your specific target for this season? A top finish for the Champions League spot, or are you looking at a top four finish? We we haven't um, we haven't held players to uh, finishing top or finishing top four. We've just said we want to evolve the playing style, and we want to play well within games. And we're convinced that if we can play well more consistently over a ninety-minute period um, in the games that we play, we'll we'll come away with more results than not. So that's that's as much as we've spoken about with the players, and then making sure that we. continue to get better every game. Okay. 